the place catchment tool. To get to the place catchment tool, go to the layout tab and we will select this option that says place catchment. This will allow us to define a drainage area that's going into each one of those inlets. And since we went out here and placed some land use areas, we're actually going to utilize those land use areas also. And you'll see that here in, in a little bit. So the first thing that you have underneath the place catchment tool is your methods, which you have pick shape, pick points, which just allows you to go through here and dynamically select points that are out there. Or if you want to snap to certain objects, you can do that also. But that just allows you to go out there and put points. And then also the flood fill. We're going to use both the pick points and the pick shape because I have some shapes out here already defined. But we'll go ahead and use both methods just to show you that it can be done. The other one that you want to look at is your feature definition. And underneath there, you're going to have two different options. One is the land use defined area, and the other one is user defined area. So since we have land use areas created out here, we're going to use the one that says land use defined area. That way, whenever it goes through here and you create that drainage area using the place catchment tool, it'll automatically figure out what that C value is for each one of those areas and kind of weight those out to give you a composite C value. If you were to use the other one, which is user defined, you'd go through here and create your drainage area, but then you'd have to go back to the utility properties and go to the hydraulic aspects of that and manually put in what number you think it is for that C value for that particular drainage area. Both ways are fine, but that's what each one of those does. So we're going to use the one that says land use defined area. And then now I just basically follow the prompts down below there. It's going to say select your method. We're going to use the pick points for this one right here because we're going to create a drainage area for this inlet right here. And the water is going from this direction right here going down into the sag inlet. So I'm going to create a drainage area right through here. So I'll select the method of pick points. And I'm going to tab down to the offset field and hit the letter O just to make sure I'm going to use this alignment right here as my reference element. So I will select it. And my station is going to be 0 plus 0, 0 with an offset of 0. So it's starting right at that point right there. And the next one is 0 plus 0, 0 with an offset of 40. Tab to lock that in. And then I will go to station 1 plus 0, 0. Offset of that one is 40 also. Go up here and I'll tag it back to the alignment. So my station is 1 plus 0, 0 with an offset of 0. And then once I have that area defined, so I'll go ahead and right click to reset. Now it's going to say, Select your outflow. Where is the water going to? Well, this water right here is going down into this inlet. So I will go ahead and select that particular inlet. Then it's going to say to select a reference surface. You can either right click, which is the reset, to pick the after terrain, or you can hit the alt key, and it's not going to worry about putting that alternate surface out there. I'm not going to worry about that, so I'll just go ahead and hit the alt key. And now that particular drainage area is now created. So I'm going to go ahead and hit F4 to clear it out. And you'll see if I select it, you'll see that if it has this dotted line, it knows that this drainage area, that water is being computed into this inlet. So we did one for the first one. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for these other two right here. So let me go back to the place catchment tool. This time, since I already have shapes out there, I could just use the pick shape option, leave my feature definition set to that, and I'll just follow the prompts. Select my shape option, pick the shape, select my outflow, and I'll hit the Alt key to not create a surface. Have that one there defined. Now I will follow the prompts again. Pick my shape. Water 
is going into this inlet. Hit the Alt key. Now I will go ahead and hit F4 to clear it out. So now I should have each one of those defined, which you got that one right there. And that one right there. So that's the basics of using the place catchment tool. You just go through here, open up the tool, figure out which method that you want to utilize, along with the feature definition, depend on what situation that you have, create your areas, and of course define them to whichever inlet that they're going to.